Hi, this is Beth at BetchInstant.net, and I am back home now. For those of you who don't know, the past week, for nine days, I've been house-sitting and puppy-sitting for our daughter, Heather, who went with her fiancé, Andy, and his three kids, Caden, Kelsey, and Ian, to Gulf Shores, Alabama, and also to Pensacola, Florida, to the beach for a nine-day vacation. So Heather asked me to puppy sit and house it. That was nowhere on my radar, but I did it. And I just got back home last night. It has been a very stressful nine days. A lot of things happened during that time. Um, her puppy's name is Angel. She's on a moose dog, but she's a cute uh, mixed braid white with some pink in her and brown. Uh, very sweet. But of course, the puppy didn't know me. So I think that was part of it. But at mealtime, she would be very picky with her food. Heather told me ahead of time that she was spoiled and she gets a certain brand of puppy food, Beneful. And the soft food, she mixes it in with the Beneful hard dog food together. And I don't know if I didn't have the right flavor. I know one brand, one flavor was not the one that she usually ate but it was also very hot. We were under a heat advisory here in the Kansas City, Missouri area the entire week. It was upper 80s to 90s. And so that could have been affecting her, the fact that she didn't really know me very well. She was probably missing Heather. I don't know. I own a cat, not a dog. <laughs> so my cat goes to the bowl where her cat food is and she just eats it. I didn't have to, I don't have to mix up her food. She does get two soft cat treats a day. So it was very different for me. Also dogs bark a lot, puppies need attention. And because of the heat advisory, I wasn't able to keep her outside a lot where she usually is. And so I would have to let her out to go to the bathroom and then bring her back in. Heather and Andy don't, don't let her run loose in the house because she has chewed on everything. Puppies love to chew. And so she scratched up stuff and chewed on shoes and chewed on furniture. So they kennel her when she's in the house. And I felt so bad for her. I don't want to kennel her. I wouldn't want to be in a kennel. Animals and people are meant to be free, right? <laughs> but Heather said, well, I know mom, I feel so bad too, but at least she's in the air conditioning out of the heat. And that is true. She did eat. I, you know, I would do things like sit with her, stand there with her, talk to her, pet her to reassure her and get her to eat her food. And she did eat, but it was a battle. It really reminded me of like a very picky toddler eating. My kids, when they were two and three years old, it was a battlefield trying to get them to eat their lunch or their supper. You know, all they wanted was peanut butter sandwiches or something like that, a banana. So that's what it reminded me of is dealing with a toddler. And so I went through that. Also, the heat itself, I don't do well on heat. When Ray and I have traveled to other countries like Haiti or Kenya, Africa, it's so hot and the heat just totally drains me. And right before I went to Heather's, the air conditioning in Ray's truck stopped working. All of a sudden, just stopped and found out it was the blower. The, the motor blower. So we had to replace that, but I couldn't do it all week. We were between paychecks. So I had to wait until Friday to get it fixed. Very expensive. It was really expensive because the Freon was very low too. I thought, I thought that too. I had them check that. So I don't know how people in other nations do it without air conditioning, but I went all week, even going short distances with that heat index. It was really hard and really stressful. I was almost over, I was overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed from the heat and all the stress going on. Then one day, my granddaughter Violet's car battery died. <laughs> and Heather called me because obviously Heather was at the beach far away. She couldn't go jump her car off. Her dad's car is a Tesla electric car, so he couldn't jump her off. So Heather called me. I went there. This happened right after she got off work. And her coworker happened to have a battery pack that is like a phone. It's a little bigger than a phone. It has jumping cables on it. I had the, the regular jumping cables, but she had this little device that was so cool. And she jumped her car off. The next thing that happened was water that got all under the disposal in the sink at Heather's house. The garbage disposal had broken. And there was... Um, 
you know, litter everywhere. So I had to call Heather. She had to call her landlord and they got the maintenance people to come and check it. She's going to have to have her garbage disposal replaced and they're going to do kills and all that to kill any bacteria or mildew or anything like that. All those things were happening. And I was like, oh my gosh. So about Wednesday, I was like, God, I really need your grace. Um, I couldn't keep the puppy outside. I had to keep bringing her in back and forth, make sure she had plenty of water, wouldn't get dehydrated. I would have to take her on walks and she loves to walk, uh, but she would try to lunge sometimes. She's very strong. So, you know, my biggest concern was her getting away from me and running off. She has actually run off from Heather and the kids a couple of times opening the door without a leash on. So I, I was like, please, God, don't let the puppy run away. So the, the week taught me several things. Uh, among them was grace and endurance. It taught me humility and servanthood because it, like I said, it wasn't on my radar to puppy sit. <laughs> and that's not my calling. I have a cat. Uh, dogs and cats are very different. Cats are very independent. Puppies need a lot more attention, but it taught me a lot about grace, relying on God for his grace and endurance, having to pray. And yes, even for puppy sitting, we need God. We need God for everything. We need God for breathing. So we need to rely on him every single day. And, you know, as far as servanthood, Whatever we do, we need to do as unto the Lord. The reason I said yes to Heather asking me to do this was because I love her and she is my daughter and it saved her a whole ton of money. She didn't have to put the puppy in a kennel all week long, 24 seven, that would have been terrible for the puppy. And it saved Heather a bunch of money. So that blessed her and relieved her greatly. So I did it for the sake of my daughter because I love her so much. And I did it as unto the Lord. Whatever we do, we need to do as unto the Lord with excellence. Why? Because Jesus is excellent. God is excellent. Doesn't mean perfect, but whatever we do, our finances, our time, stewarding, our spiritual gifts, our health, everything in our life, our skills, our abilities, you know, time management, we need to do with excellence as unto the Lord. So that's what I really tried to do with the puppy. And I did the best job possible taking care of her and the house for Heather that, you know, they didn't want to leave the house without somebody watching it while they were gone so long. So that blessed them too. So that's been my week. And I wanted to share this scripture with you because I was so stressed out from everything going on. And this is a scripture God gave me, Jeremiah 12, 5. If you have raced with men on fit and they have worn you out, how can you compete with horses? If you stumble in safe country, how will you manage in the thickets by the Jordan? Basically, basically, I felt like God was saying, Beth, you're being a wimp. <laughs> if you can't deal with the puppy not eating your food, you know, right when you give it to her and having to practically hold her hand through the whole process. If you can't deal with the heat and the, the air conditioning in the truck going out or the heat outside, even going outside when it's so hot. If you can't deal with the water under the sink flooding, if you can't deal with your granddaughter Violet's car tearing up and you having to go jump her off in the heat, then how on earth are you going to wage war with Satan and the enemies, his, his kingdom of darkness? So we need to be strong in the Lord. We need to rely on him, his grace, and endure and battle through his spirit and his power. And we just need to trust in the Lord. So um, it taught me different things. I try to take lessons from whatever goes on in my life and my life circumstances. There's always a lesson. So that's been my week. I am now back home and I'm going, what I'm going to be working on now is first I'm going to rest. I'm not going to go anywhere for, for at least several days. Ray and I are planning to go see the new Top Gun movie Maverick this week for his Father's Day gift. I'm just trying to rest here at home and then I'm going to start working on my podcast again and doing videos like this one. And I am now writing my short story 
at Vela, Kindle Vela called She Won. So if you haven't read that already, you can read the first three episodes free. After that, you buy tokens and that unlocks the other episodes for you to read. Also, my Moments in the Messages training is now available. I will put that link in the comments section below this video. Is called Turn Your Ordinary Moments into Your Extraordinary Messages, just like with the puppy. God used the puppy to teach me about servanthood, loving my daughter, Heather, uh, humility, grace, endurance. There's always a lesson, and you can always take uh, your ordinary moments like that, puppy sitting, and turn it into a message for God's glory. So I would encourage you to sign up for that training. It's only $47 at Podia. Dot com and I will put the link below. I would love for you to join me and encourage you to use the messages that God has put on your heart for his glory. I'm glad to be back. It's been quite a week, very stressful, very, very stressful. So if you would pray for me to be refilled, restored, replenished, I would really appreciate it. I don't have any regrets about doing it because it helped my daughter. She went to the beach. Uh, she said it's gorgeous there in Gulf Shores, Alabama, and in Pensacola, Florida. She liked that even better than Destin and Panama City. So that's now on my list, too, to go to. <laughs> but she she really needed that vacation. She worked so hard, and so did his Andy. So I'm really happy they got to go for a nine-day vacation to the beach. And they were blessed. And they saw two baby dolphins on a dolphin cruise, saw some other dolphins, saw a shark, saw all kinds of things, had a great time, ate seafood, and were very blessed. So praise Jesus that he got them all the way there and back. Thank you to all of you who prayed for their well-being, their travel mercies. This is Beth at BethJones.net. Be blessed and have a beautiful day. And I will talk to you later. And thank you again for praying for me and my family. And I am praying for you. Let me know if you have any prayer requests. I'll be happy to pray for you. Talk to you later.